deck is that next to the moon? Hi everybody, it's Steve Olson. It's August 25th, 2016. This is uh, kind of in a weird mood today. That's why the weird opening segment with all the weirdness. Just feeling strange, guys. Just feeling kind of out of it. Um, but anyway, I want to show you some pictures so um, of things that's going on. First of all, uh, wasn't that a great interview with Terrell Blackstar yesterday? Yes, Terrell and I do not see eye to eye on what's visible and what's not visible in the universe and in the solar system. I get it. But at the end of the day, I like uh, the science that he's accumulated just based on data, earthquake data, things like that. So it's a very good point of view, and Terrell and I are friends, and I will welcome him back again someday. What you're looking at here is the Cumberland Head Observatory in Plattsburgh, New York. Uh, basically, that light stack of three lights has re-emerged again recently. And again, we think that that possibly is under intelligent control. You know, I'm getting kind of uh, used to the idea that perhaps we might be looking at you know, stuff that's under intelligent control. Anywho, uh, next thing is wanted to show a little bit of Sharon's work here. This is a, a photograph from a couple days ago where she is just still catching those really interesting um, red, you know, orbs, things like that. Um, this is that kind of interesting rainbow that we got in the winter in Wisconsin in, from Australia. Uh, this one just had that interesting, an interesting orb that was obfuscating the skyline there, or the cloud line, or the, I mean, the beams of the sun, so I thought it was interesting. This one was interesting because it was taken through a welding helmet, and look at that huge orb that shows up and is blocked by the cloud, so it is behind the clouds. Very strange, very interesting. Not the lens flare, my friends. This one is uh, just kind of a darkened, saturated view of the of the halo, which is around our sun right now. And uh, we don't know what it is yet, but we keep speculating. But dark and ominous. And then the all sky cams are starting to show details on this orb now, and it's in the same place that we see it in Alaska, which is kind of typically to the west. And then this picture, just more of the same, kind of that big orb thing going on you know and then there's the three dots in the in another location uh kind of interesting check out mr big Good stuff still in the east there uh kind of interesting i just wanted to show it to you on my um editing software because it's even more easy to see so let me get it sized correctly here and you can see it so basically here it is the 25th in wainwright and again that little the orb is there and notice how it does not break that skyline that's not a lens anomaly. We've been seeing too many of these. Can we just talk for a minute, you and me? Can we just have just a little short conversation? Uh, this event seems to be kind of sneaking up on us, I think, a little bit. And I think people just, it's easy to fall back to sleep when you're looking at, look at the hexagon, the hexagon sun again. And here's a picture where Jesus is going to come back in Jerusalem, by the way. Um, but anyway, just talking to you, you know, kind of heart to heart and all that kind of stuff. It just feels like to me that we got to, we really got to get grounded, man. You got to ground yourself. You got to get grounded in the Lord. And it's tough because, man, we can slip a lot. We can, you know, we can slip off that plate pretty easy. But at the end of the day, man, it's important that you have that grounding. And I'm just going to keep pointing you that way. Before I let you go, though, today, I wanted to let you know that, yes, we do have back for a limited seven-day only period. We do have our um, WSO founding member program back up until September 1st. So if you'd like to order a shirt and become a founding member with access to our new website, which by the way is almost done, and uh, special access to premium materials, things like that, or if you just want to make a donation, that's fine too. You will be counted as a founding member if you do it before September 1st. By popular demand, so get off my back. People like it so much that they wanted me to bring it back. So I'm bringing it back, and I hope that you guys take advantage of it. All right, till next time, this is Steve Olson. Um, we're probably doing another show tonight. There's a lot of developments going on, but until then, I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon, evening on August 25th.